guys <clears throat> it's Jenny here from just Jenny journaling welcome back to my channel um, this is just a, um, a flip through of this um, it's a traveler's notebook with um, it's for uh, the be courageous uh, convention it's for the no for note taking and it's a traveler's notebook that is um, uh, filled with three inserts um, one for each day um, it's actually just got some little uh, jewels, uh, little uh, jewellery oh, trims and uh, a little la vintage lady on the, oh, I've just popped this, I'm going to pop that in there somewhere, printed on fabric. This was the um, series that's going to, it's based on the graphic 45 communique and um, so I'll just get it right in I think. So this is the first one and it's basically got the courage trim on the front. A little courage, if you can see it. And it's sewn, the, the front, the, all the uh, covers are, are sewn. Um, so they're doubled up with uh, two layers of cardstock for strength. And uh, this is, so it's got the lovely lady on the front and uh, tea dyed lace. And uh, started off with uh, just to program it on the inside with one of the um, tea dyed uh, little butterflies. Lots of washi. I've tried had to be really quite uh, reserved with um, with not having too much lace. I've got a little lace tab on on one on each signature with a little jewel uh, on each signature on, on each insert. And uh, so there's lots of stamping and washi, really, and collage. Mm. Botanical pages, different types of pages, uh, a mix of tea dyed and um, lined. Um, I've done the flashcards um, as I have with the others, but this time I've actually um, just collaged them with sometimes with uh, just a bit of stamping. You can see that. So lots of stamping, different types of paper. Got lined and you can see there are lots of vintage ladies in this one. Just move the paper, lined, tea dyed. Stamping like the old fashioned gramophone on that. There's the old fashioned telephone. So for lots of note taking. It's a little mm, Kew Gardens botanical playing card. There's still a few more bits, things I wanted to do to this. I've got some little Tim Holtz little words that say courage and faith and inspire and that sort of thing. I wanted to pop those in, but I basically ran out of time. I wanted to do a complete two journals in the last sort of four days for one was a custom order. This one's a, a personal. So. Love the little uh, bird washi. You can see the uh, the bird washi tape on that with the stamping and ampersand as well. Ampersand stamp. And I've used some. Um, these are flower themed postage stamps, I think, and I've done little collages throughout all three of the inserts. This is on a little bit of um, bit of muslin, just a little flip that's easy to flip up. Or I probably will just I'll probably just write notes around it to be fair. But I'd like the effect of how that turned out. Music paper. It's another little collage. 
It's beautiful stamp if you can see it. It's like a wooden scene. Postage stamp wooden scene out of the I love this. This was from that Sears um catalogue. Uh, the reproduction of the Sears catalogue that I did and I tea dyed it and I've just taken little um little ladies out with the hats. I love these. In fact um I started to put some kits together with some of these images for the Etsy store. Uh, and that's Friday afternoon's programme. And what I've done with this, like most of them, I've put tabs on the top and you can take them out and depending on where you finish your notes you can actually say oh you finished your notes there for morning you can pop in the afternoon uh, on the next page to start in the afternoon that's how this works oh. uh -huh. so there's lots of pages in this um, lots of pages for note taking so that's the first one is that old vintage camera on the back that's the first one the second one I've done the insert again I've sewn uh, double uh, laser of cardstock and that has the uh, bar coverage there the little um, vintage typewriter st uh, stamped onto the fabric and some of it laid with some other vintage fabric and then I've popped some of the uh, tea dead lace in the top uh, the front as well and a little postage stamp just because and the paper actually has uh, just different images on it if you can see right. so in this one and the morning program is backed onto uh, graphic 45 cardstock the uh, theme of the morning is uh, on the flash card and collaged again. Scripture verse, scripture verse of different sizes. I love this old fashioned um, car, it might be an old sound car. I used to do um, play messages on a little gramophone and drive around. For advertising. There you go, that's that little stamp again. Little vintage um hmm. I'm sure I'm in frame. Stamping on the corners, mixture of papers, washi. Uh, some of the uh, uh, edge uh, uh, cut with an edge cutter. cutter. That's the centre of that one. Oh, you can see, does he show the centre of this one? That was the centre of the first one. Sorry about that. That was from the um, catalogue. Not the reproduction of the catalogue, but I love that and love the legs on the other side actually with their little suits on. Um, let's have a bit of a moment. A little, good, lovely little picture there. And so, again, the little vintage car stamp. This has got some um, little pullouts because there's some uh, discussing different animals, and I just love these vintage prints of animals and uh, the mongoose, the hummingbird. It's all part of the program. So I did the little um, pull those off the internet. Music paper, you can 
can see it on the little flip again, the lady in the hat, um, just on some fabric. I love that. And I'll probably, it's really thin, so I can uh, note tape over it, I think, without any trouble with the writing. And I've got some bits I was going to stick in, but I haven't yet. It's the oops, Sunday. I've mixed these up a little bit. And this last um, insert here, um, I loved the I loved the um, the cover on this, but when I put it together, it looked a bit plain. You know, the the paper just a bit um, needed a bit of a lift. So I had actually put the lace on the on the bottom, and that little courage in the brass, the vintage brass. But I decided to uh, decoupage over the top with these beautiful florals. Now, had I had more time, to be honest, I would have done more of this throughout. In fact, I might go back in and add some of the different florals, because I think it really gives it a lift. In fact, I think this is probably one of the favorite out of all of the three inserts on the front there because of the lift of the, of the florals. Anyway, uh, it's got the program, morning program on the front I've backed it onto the graphic 45 and I've topped it with the vintage fabric and um, on that one I've actually re replicated that's the other part of that decoupage uh, flower and I absolutely love 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 how that's turned out I really do and um, I think I will do more of this for um, do this again when I have more time and if I do uh, this design again for myself or for someone else, I will do it more of a decoupage. This is uh, one of the, those ladies again from the Sears Roebuck. Um, Catalogue, as I said, I've tea dyed it. I've tea dyed it. Vintage ladies. from Joshua and Caleb and I've done the just a little bit of layering really so I sort of tried to ink the edges of all of the pages on each of them so this was edged in orange and then they've got sort of like a an espresso brown um, on the others Vintage sort of kind of at this map type stamp from that one. Botanical little. Um, I really liked how that looked. So there's lots of room for note taking, lots of variety in texture, and uh, as much colour as you can stamping. Little map page here on that page and it's a little compass it's an old fashioned sort of I think it's a haberdashery or department store kind of picture here in the middle centre spread in the centre I haven't done anything with the centre um, strings because I just as I said I wanted to keep it as simple as possible just for making the notes. little detail here. I don't know if you can see it I don't know if you can see it very well but it's 
some interesting paper for um, an, an astronomer's notebook. I picked up in Waterstones, I think. Um, took it apart and tea dyed it. So there you go. On Sunday or Saturday afternoon, I've got them all in the wrong order. But uh, this is going to start to be used today, so I really need to get this done this morning. Um, otherwise, we wouldn't have a flip through with it before it's being used. And there's a little belly band on the back here. Um, I've sort of I've, I've stamped the fabric, and then I've got lots of extras, as you can see, to add. Um, lots of extras to add, which I might do over the next sort of few days, and I may do a little flip through once I've added the extras to be fair even with some notes in so that you can see so I hope you like I'm sorry it was a little bit rough and ready this um, flip through but if I don't do it now um, it won't be done before um, before it gets used so let's take that out that's some more of the extras to, to add in so that's it guys, um, if you like what you see, um, please um, uh, like, uh, make a comment and like any suggestions you might have or the things that you like the best, that would be fine. If you haven't joined my channel before, please um, subscribe. I am on Instagram every, well most days, to be honest, most days I try and post on Instagram and I'm on Facebook too, under Just Jenny Journaling. If you want to join me on the journey uh, on a daily basis there that'd be great it'd be great to see you take care bye bye